Hey guys, DC here again with another video. Today I'll be using my brand new Flex Core Welder by Yes Welder. I'll be showing you how I managed to install this crane by Harbor Freight on my Toyota pickup. Please be sure to subscribe and help this channel grow. Also drop a like and a comment. I'll reply as soon as I can. Thanks. Now let's get started. With the help of other install videos, I concluded the best structural support for this crane would be a frame that stretches out across and over the actual truck frame. The material I use is inch and a half by inch and a half eighth inch square tubing that I found in my old scrap. I had a few pieces laying around so I went ahead and splice welded them together to get my lengths. I don't plan on having this set up permanently on this truck as I am trying to find a new work truck and that's the reason why I didn't use new material as well. For those who are trying to use new material, you will need at least 10 to 15 feet of square tubing and I recommend it being at least eighth inch thick or more. To set this machine on flux core setting, you match the light to its corresponding label below. In my case, I'm using 030 wire, so I'm setting it to the top right light. After, you can adjust your power and wire speed accordingly. I didn't get a chance to mess around with the settings before this project, so I did crank it up to max power and max wire speed. I ended up blowing holes through my first couple splice welds, but it's all good. At least I know I got full pen. <laughs> this little machine packs a punch for it being 110. Of course, a big help comes from the generator itself, but the welder does a good job at transferring that power over to the workpiece. Splicing can be a bit tricky and convenient at the same time, as you take two smaller pieces of tubing and weld them together to get one full piece. They might not come out perfect, but they do come in handy when you're short on material. Next, I'm trying to find out where exactly my crane will line up. I would have liked to have placed it as far back of the bed as possible, but my truck's frame was a bit shorter than expected. That would have gave me a bit more clearance from the extended tailgate. I also started to realize that the length of the support frame I am building would be too long to try and fit up and over my truck's frame. One quick tip I like to give you guys is that not everything you build is going to go according to plan. But my advice is just to sit back, think about what you're doing, and just keep on pushing through. If you fail one time, keep trying again. Uh, obviously, you're going to be wasting a lot of material, but... It's all right, you'll learn in the end and you'll learn to not make the same mistake again. In most cases, and honestly in my opinion, that's the best way to learn. I'm seriously contemplating if I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> and this is the exact moment I realized I was fucked. But no matter, we adapt to any situation. I started out by cutting my parts to my desired length, which was roughly 51 inches. I also cut out a few stiffeners using the same material to help support all the splice welding I've done. I want to take this chance to give credit to this little portable bandsaw I'm using. I picked this up off Amazon for about 200 bucks from a company named Anvil. I'll leave the link below. This bandsaw has been such a great help. The fact that you can attach it to a fixed stand and turn it into a table bandsaw was a big selling point for me definitely a recommended product for at-home fabricators. So after I welded the section where the crane will sit, I went ahead and marked out my holes to be drilled. The bolts I'm using are size 7 16 by 5 inches long. The drill bit I was using is about 5 8 I made it slightly bigger for a little wiggle room. Plus I added washers. The drill press I'm using is a 2.5 amp drill press from Harbor Freight. It did struggle to drill these size holes out but it managed well in the end. I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about the Yes Welder Flux 135. This machine runs really smooth and so far has been reliable. I'll be testing its limits in a future video and confident it will perform well. Be sure to check out Yes Welder and the variety of welders and cutters. I've been with them for a few years now and can honestly say their products are reliable and affordable. Plus they seem to be getting better each and every year. After some fine tuning on the Flux 135. I finally got my machine dialed in right, and the welds finally started coming out smooth. You can tell a difference just by looking at each side of the frame. On the right side, I had the machine set too hot and was blowing through. And on the left side, I had the machine set just right for nice crisp welds. Can you guess which side I used to bolt the crane down? I know these splice welds look pretty bad. But I guarantee you they're stronger than they look. And these were the first welds I did on here. Like I mentioned before, I need to chop this support frame in half and install it in two pieces. I apologize, but I wasn't able to feel myself welding it into place. 
My phone had died and didn't realize it until after, but I did get a video of it installed. I did end up using my gas MIG welder to weld it into place, just to get some cleaner welds into it. A few things I'd like to mention for someone looking for a more permanent install would be one, maybe adding a bit more welds, especially near the load bearing point, typically near the crane. Two, make sure your material is clean and free of rust or you will increase your chances of weak points. And three, make sure you paint your project with at least some type of protective enamel, mainly on your welds, as I guarantee they will rust, especially in high humidity areas. Other than that, take your time and try not to half-ass anything, or this could easily result into serious injury. That pretty much concludes this video. But before I leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop a like. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, Down Duty Welders. Look out for our merch. We got work shirts, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, stickers. We have new merch and new ideas coming soon. Please be on the lookout. With that, I'll leave you with a small clip of me testing out the crane. Thanks again for watching. Till next time. Peace.